Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another Thoughts on Thursdays video. Today I'm going to be talking about relationships. As wide and as dynamic this topic is, and I know it can be talked about at length, I really just want to focus on the basics today. So to start with, I want to identify the two main types of relationships in our lives. Relationships that are positive and relationships that are negative. The positive relationships in our life, they help us grow. They help us move forward. Um, they're there to support us to achieve our goals and dreams. The positive relationships in our life, they're filled with a great deal of love, care, laughter, and joy. These positive relationships are motivating and they're uplifting and they're filled with a great deal of positive energy. On the other hand, we have our negative relationships. Negative relationships tend to hold us back. They drag us down. Sometimes they even make us feel like we're stuck in a rut and we feel like there's really no way out of this rut. These negative relationships are exhausting. They're tiring. They consume us. Um, they drain us. These negative relationships are filled with a great deal of doubt, stress, fear, and anxiety. These negative relationships are demotivating and demoralizing. So what I'm really getting at and what I really want you to take away from today's video is to identify these two types of relationships in your life. I want you to separate your negative relationships from your positive relationships. Once you've done that, I want you to shift gears and focus on the positive relationships in your life. I want you to focus on who those positive people are, what those positive relationships are, and ways to further maintain those positive relationships. Then I want you to remind yourself every so often that the goal is to only build positive relationships moving forward. Once that's taken care of, I want you to shift gears and take care of the negative relationships in your life. These negative relationships are easily identified by people who drain you, people who tire you, people who make you unhappy. These negative relationships, they really hold you back from attaining your full potential. And the goal is to eliminate these negative relationships. And I know that it's not easy. It's definitely easier said than done. It's not easy to walk away from a relationship or shut the door on a relationship or turn your back on people. It might seem harsh and it might seem mean and it might seem rude to walk away from a relationship, but believe me, in the long run, it's these negative relationships that drain us and make us feel like we aren't good enough. It's these negative relationships that we need to push away. And I know sometimes it's these negative relationships that we have are with people who are extremely close to us, people who've been in our lives for almost all for almost forever. If you find yourself in a negative relationship with someone who's extremely close to you, a good strategy is to set a boundary. If you set a limit to how close they get to you, you set a limit to how much negativity they bring in your life. So if you can't walk away, if you can't eliminate, set boundaries, set distance from that negativity. That's the real way of keeping yourself as positive as you possibly can to stay happy and to, and to grow in life. And the last thing I want to leave you with is choose your relationships wisely because it's our relationships that identify us. It's the relationships that we have in our lives that make a huge impact on who we are as individuals. They affect our behavior. They affect our mental, physical, and emotional health. So choose wisely. Throw away all the negativity and keep the positivity as close as possible. Until next time, bye.